here's how to use the AI video translation engine, which is the third part of the process within Doodle Maker. So if you want to use this, this is where you would see it. All you have to do to use the AI video translation engine is to start by clicking this new video with translation that you see right here. Now, what does this exactly do? It allows you to bring any video, either a voiceover that you already have or a YouTube video, and then it's going to automatically transcribe it and then convert it into a doodle video. And then you can translate it into any language as well. This is useful where you can generate traffic and leads and sales for any business by attracting an international audience. So for example, let's say I'm actually going after the how to eat healthy market. So for example, this could reach out organic food, folks who want to eat healthy or anything along those lines, you can use that by going into this step, which is this process right here, where we can just put a project name, which says how to eat healthy. Okay. And that could be the doodle video that you're creating. And then you can bring in a YouTube URL video. So I have this video that I've already uh, selected from YouTube. And now let's convert it into a different language and also make it into a doodle video. So let's click get YouTube video. And then automatically it's going to transcribe that video as long as it has an audio because it has to get that audio to transcribe it. And it's going to make the slides for us. The other options are all available as you can see here, which is available when you're doing that create from scratch or create from blank canvas option, which gives you the same types of options. Now, this is just a faster way for you to create different language videos very quickly. Now, of course, make sure that if you're bringing in videos from somebody else to modify it to the best of your ability to make it unique and make it your own words as well. And if it is another video of a company you're working with, for example, then take permission from that company to be able to use them as well. Now, this will just to speed up the process and also it will put you in the good stead as well, especially if you're trying to build these videos for clients. All right. So once we've typed that, we can just choose which type of video that we wanted to create. We can do black, a colored or mixed icon or mixed doodle videos. I'm going to put color in this case and I'm going to show you how easy it is to start creating these videos and start editing them. All you need to do is hit the save button here and then you can go to the very next step. Let's do that. So once I've done so, this opens up the automated canvas where you have all these slides pre-created, meaning it converted that particular YouTube video into a powerful doodle video. And the better part is that you can also integrate with the text to speech engine where it's going to convert it into a beautiful lifelike text to speech voice that will sync with the actual doodle video that you are have created in just a few seconds. So how that will work is you just go in and you can change any one of these uh, voices. So for example, I can change it to any one of this. And then we are good, it's going to move on. If I wanted to change the language, first of all, I want to talk about this, which is it's basically chosen certain characters that it is basing these doodle assets and doodle uh, icons on right. So these so the idea is that you can change them as well by changing the language. Okay, now, what's going to happen is let's say if I go back here and I change it to Spanish, automatically, it's going to translate it into that language. So let me do that. Click the uh, auto translation icon as well. Or you can even, um, you know, manually go in and make edits, uh, and so on. So you see that it translated it into Spanish for me. And Here's the better part as well. You can now click on update voice and it's going to translate it to a Spanish voice. Okay. And I'll show you how that looks like. You see how it says Spanish TTS. So you can now click on update voice and automatically it's going to convert it into a Spanish voice. And again, you have different voices as well uh, that you can use here as well, which is very powerful. Now, the other part of the equation here is you also get the capability here to upload your own voice like this and also record your own voice as well on top of the video so that if you choose to, there's that flexibility as well. 
And of course, you can add your own text elements. You can, for example, if I wanted to add something, let's say five ways to eat healthy on a budget, for example, let's say, right? And that's my text. I just click insert and then there you go. So I can change this uh, color and so on. And even these doodles, by the way, I can change them, uh, their color and all that stuff as well to match the theme that I wanted to do. So for instance, I can do this, I can do that and so on and so forth. And you can also change the transitions. So obviously all these by default are in the hand drawing transition with the default speed of about two seconds or around there. So you can change that as well to make them faster, slower, the drawing and all that stuff. You have the full flexibility here. And also, you can change the timeline options as well. Like you see here, you can move things around, you can unlock it, and you can do all kinds of good stuff. Again, you can watch the tutorial on how to change the timeline settings and unlock it and uh, you know add more flexibility by moving things around and so on for special details on it. And the other great part is since all the slides are already created, you can go to the next one like so, and you can again add more text here, you can change it, uh, you can translate this one as well to Spanish or whatever language you wish. And then you can do the same process that I've showed you. And this will give you that flexibility to get more control over each slide or each specific uh, canvas portal here of these five slides that got created, right? Very easy to edit, very easy for you to go back and change things. And again, you can edit this text even further and you can uh, change things around even more uh, to your heart's desire. Finally, you can add additional customization to it by going to the library section right here. And in the library section, you have different icons that you can use. You can do all kinds of good stuff here. And of course, you want to change this over to a color doodle video as well. You have the capable to do so as you can see here uh, with all the icons available here or once you can search here for example where you can say uh, budget and then you can get anything related to a budget as you can see there's a calculator here and so on and so forth and you can put that in and another thing as well is you can go here as well right you can put something like eat eat healthy right uh, health and that sort of thing or you can even go a step further and just put health so that we wanted to put those in. And of course, if anything that you like here that uh, you wanted to put, well, you can in include those in as well. So that way, you know, you are basically making sure that you're taking care of important elements. And again, to make it standard to this, I could probably do this. And again, I could put that in there in the workflow to make it relevant to my health based video or whatever industry or whatever video I'm trying to create. So that is how easy it is to use the AI translation engine. And once you're done, you have two options here. You can preview to see everything is good or just go straight to create video and then start rendering the video out. And then it will be shown under your projects once the video finishes rendering.